Yo guys, it's Chronoferry and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Sodium mod for Minecraft. And the Sodium mod has successfully dethroned Optifine as the best FPS boosting mod. You don't need Optifine anymore because Sodium just does it so much better in terms of increasing your FPS. And don't just take my word for it, here's a quick comparison of FPS between Optifine and Sodium. So Optifine versus Sodium here, you can see that with Optifine I get around 200 FPS. Whereas with sodium, I get close to 400 FPS. So that's almost times two, right, of um, Optifine here. So it's a really significant difference. And that's why sodium is a really important mod for you to install for your Minecraft client. And I will also be showing you guys what are the best settings for sodium to get the maximum FPS boost. That will be done in the later half of this video after the installation tutorial. But before we get into the tutorial here, don't forget to leave a like because it helps more people see and benefit from this tutorial and consider subscribing to the channel as well because I upload a wide variety of Minecraft content ranging from Minecraft documentaries to even Minecraft parodies. Okay guys, let's get started. So in order to install Sodium, you will need three different files. You will need the Sodium mod itself, you will need the Fabric Launcher and last but not least, you will need Fabric API. The links to each of these files will be in the description down below so you guys can just follow along. So for Sodium here, you just want to click Files and you just want to install the version of Sodium that you want. In this case, it's 1.16.1 .1, but just keep in mind that the installation process works the same for pretty much any version of Minecraft. So if you're installing this for a future version of Minecraft, let's say 1.17 is out, then the installation process will still remain the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this download button here and the sodium jar file should start downloading in a couple of seconds. Just wait for it and when it downloads, you just want to keep the jar file and there you have the sodium file downloaded onto your computer. So next we'll move on to the fabric launcher here and there are two different installers. For Windows, you want to download the .exe file but if you're using Mac OS or any other kinds of operating systems that isn't Windows, then you want to download the jar file instead. And last but not least, we have fabric API which enables fabric to work because Fabric without Fabric API, your mods basically just won't work. So you need to go ahead and download Fabric API here. Once again, go to Files. Select the version of Fabric API that you want. In my case, it's 1.16.1. .1, so you just want to go ahead and click Download. So you just wait a couple of seconds and your download will start automatically. And you just want to keep the jar file. So there you have it guys. You should have successfully downloaded these three files onto your computer. Once again, they are Fabric Installer, Fabric API, as well as Sodium. So let's go ahead and actually install the Fabric Launcher first. So you wanna double click the .exe file here. And if you're using the jar file uh, on Mac OS or some other kinds of operating systems, sometimes it might launch it to WinRAR. So in that case, you just wanna right click, open with, and select Java. But you won't have this problem with the .exe file. So if you're using Windows, just double click and it will launch this screen right here. Make sure you have selected the right version of Fabric that you want to install. Again, it's 1.16.1 .1 for this video. So you just need to change it to any other version that you're installing if you're installing this for a future version of Minecraft. And then you just click install and it's done. So now what you want to do is you need to install Fabric API as well as Sodium. So in order to install Fabric API as well as Sodium, you will need to navigate to your .minecraft folder. And how you go about doing that is by opening Windows Explorer and typing in percent app data percent hit enter and you should see your .minecraft folder here. Double click and there should be a mods folder here as well. Now if you guys don't see the mods folder, what you need to do is to actually launch Minecraft first. So you want to click your Minecraft launcher and you want to select the Fabric Loader 1.16.1. .1. That's the one that you have just installed and you want to hit play. So once you have launched the Fabric 1.16 profile, it should just create the mods folder for you. So you just want to hit quit game. But if you guys already have the mods folder, then you don't need to do that step that I showed you earlier. So you just double click on your mods folder here. You just want to drag in your Fabric API as well as your Sodium jar files here. So once you have dragged in your Fabric API and Sodium jar files, you are basically done. Now you can see that I've Optifine here in my mods folder as well. And just keep in mind guys that Optifine is not compatible with Sodium. This means that if you run your Minecraft, right, it won't use Sodium and Optifine at the same time to create like an ultra FPS boost. It doesn't work like that. You can only have either Optifine or Sodium running at one point of time. And because we're using Fabric Launcher here, it actually doesn't interfere with Optifine. So you can go ahead and leave the jar file in. It shouldn't cause any compatibility issues or it shouldn't cause your Minecraft to crash or anything like that. If you have Optifabric, however, installed, then you want to go ahead and delete that file. 
But if you have the regular Optifine, then you can just go ahead and leave it. It shouldn't cause any issues. And if it does, if it does cause your Minecraft to crash or anything like that, just delete the jar file and you should be good to go. So from here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and launch Minecraft and you can see the Sodium mod in action here. So again, hit your Minecraft launcher. Make sure you have the Fabric Loader 1.16.1 profile selected or whatever version of Fabric you're installing here. And just click play. So if you hit F3 here, you can see your FPS. There should be a huge increase uh, compared to the default Minecraft or even compared to Optifine. You can see right now I'm getting around close to 500 FPS here. And this is despite the fact that I'm actually recording this video right now, which usually brings down your FPS quite a bit. So it's pretty good. I have absolutely no complaints. This mod is amazing. It is quite life changing, especially for those of you out there with bad computers. If you get like 30 FPS, barely 30 FPS, on regular Minecraft, if you install this mod, you should get a huge FPS increase that is even greater than Optifine. And how you know that Sodium is installed, on the top left hand corner, it should say Sodium Chunk here. So that's when you know you have installed Sodium. And of course, the huge FPS boost is another piece of evidence that you have installed Sodium successfully. So now on to the best settings for Sodium. You wanna click Escape Options, and you wanna go into video settings, you can see there's a bunch of settings here for you to play around with. So on this menu here, you don't actually need to tweak much settings unless your FPS is still really bad, even with Sodium installed. So the thing that you wanna change here is the view distance. So you wanna bring the view distance down if you are still experiencing low FPS. I usually like to keep mine at 12, but of course, if your FPS is not as good as you want it to be, then you wanna go ahead and bring this down and just click apply, and you should see a significant FPS increase. So clouds, you can turn it either on or off, but it's not really an important setting because it doesn't affect performance. As you can see, performance impact, it says low. The GUI scale, again, this doesn't affect FPS. Same thing with full screen, V-Sync, you don't actually need to turn it on. For the FPS limit here, guys, you wanna make sure that this is set at the maximum here, which is unlimited, because if you have an FPS limit, it will actually throttle your game, meaning it will set the maximum FPS limit so for example, if you set it to 40, right, your game cannot go beyond 40 FPS. So that's why you want to set the FPS limit to as high as possible and you want to click apply. Next, we'll move on to quality here. Now for quality, the only setting that you really need to change here is the graphics quality. So if you're still experiencing pretty bad FPS and you don't mind worse graphics, right, you can just switch from fancy over to fast and that will be a huge difference in terms of FPS. But for me, I have no issues with FPS, so I'm just gonna leave mine at fancy here. And clouds quality, again, you can change this, but it doesn't affect the FPS much. Same thing with weather quality as well. Now, particle quality actually does affect FPS a significant amount. So you can go ahead and change this to medium if you want. It does help your FPS a little. And for the rest of these things, I just wouldn't mess with it because it doesn't affect your FPS that much. And in the advanced settings here, you guys don't need to change any of these because the default settings are usually the best. So that's pretty much it for this installation tutorial and guide. If you guys have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comment section down below and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Otherwise guys, uh, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I upload a wide variety of Minecraft content here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you and I will see you guys in the next video.